is to actually strengthen that part of the brain, the neuronal connections of how we choose where our attention is. So the first one I'm going to do is very simple, and we do this with all the kids. I'm going to ring this bell, and I want you to pay attention to the sound of the bell, and see if you can aim and sustain your attention all the way until the bell is not heard anymore. When you stop hearing the sound of the bell, raise a hand. Okay. Let's see if you can sustain your attention all the way through the whole sound of the bell. And we're all in different places, so we have different hearing and levels. Okay, good. Anybody have their attention wander during that short, brief period of time? Now, I usually bring a series of bells that last longer. You don't have them all here with me today. So I'm going to ask you now to do with sound to allow yourself to open up your field of awareness and focus on sound, all of the sound. But see if you can specifically keep your attention on receiving sound, each new sound without getting lost in a story or an association about the sound. So there's the direct experience of the sound, and then there's the commentary about the sound, the associations about the sound. Because what will happen is, if you get in the association, pretty soon your attention is going to be somewhere else. You're going to be thinking about something in the past or the future. So, just with your awareness, I'm going to shut up here in a minute. Take in all the sounds around you. You can switch from one sound to the other or just stay with one sound. But see if you can just let the sound come in. And receive the sound as just sound, as if you were had never heard it before and you're curious. So you're really attending to the sound. We're gonna do this for three minutes. 